Good day everyone, so this is Alvin again from the Philippines and today we are going to review Miss Universe 2012. The competition was held in Planet Hollywood Resort and Casino in Las Vegas and 89 ladies competed this year and I really love the Christmas theme, especially the intro. After this, for, for the second time in a row, no national costume in the introduction, which I really miss a lot. But for this year, I have picked my personal top 5 favorite national costumes. And this is by far the most competitive batch when it comes to national costumes. My number 5 is Sri Lanka, Sabrina Herft. My number 4 is Venezuela, Irene Esser. My number 3 is Nicaragua, Farah Eslakit. My number two is Honduras, Jennifer Andrade. And my winner for best national costume is Netherlands, Natalie Den Decker. I just love the inventive and the fun vibe of the costume, which of course really embodies Netherlands. So very, very beautiful costume. Now, for the top 16 announcement, here are the ladies whose placements are expected because their front runners are just my personal favorites. Venezuela, Irene Esser. France, Marie Payette, Mexico, Karina Gonzalez, South Africa, Melinda Bam, Philippines, Janine Tugonon, Brazil, Gabriela Marcus, Australia, Renee Ayres, and USA, Olivia Culpo. And here are the ladies whose placements came as a surprise, but I love them. Hungary, Agnes Konkoli, my personal and sentimental favorite, Kosovo, Diana Avdiu. And here are the ladies whose placements came out of nowhere, and I am happy for them, but I did not really like them that much. Turkey, Kagil Ozgi Ozkul, Peru, Nicole Faveron, Russia, Elizabeth Golovanova, Poland, Marcelina Zavajka, Croatia, Elizabeth Burg, and India, Shilpa Singh. This year was actually one of the most shocking, jaw-dropping, and mind-boggling year. There's a lot of heavy favorites that were eliminated and many shocking and surprise placements as well. Now, for those ladies who are making buzz that failed to qualify were Bahamas, Chile, Czech Republic, Ecuador, Georgia, Lebanon, New Zealand, Paraguay, Puerto Rico, Spain, and Sri Lanka. But if I was one of the judges and if I could make some changes, I'll definitely take out six ladies. That, I mean, a lot of them. Turkey, Peru, Russia, Poland, Croatia, and India. Gosh, there's six of them. Don't get me wrong. I am happy that they placed. But for personal choice, I just prefer these other six to be there. And these are Ecuador, Carolina Aguirre, very, very beautiful, but shockingly missed the cut. Paraguay, Egni Eckert, she was even in my top five in my final prediction because she was so good, but did not make it as well. Czech Republic, Teresa Krabowska, another heavy favorite, but again, failed to make a cut. And Georgia, Tamar Shedanya, this woman was expected to finally give Georgia its very first placement, but it was not even given a chance. Bahamas, another woman who's expected to break the drought of Bahamas, Celeste Marshall, another shocking non-qualifier. And New Zealand, Talia Bennett, very, very beautiful, but then again, ignored. Now for the swimsuit competition, I really, really love the staging, plus the music as well. Now for the best performances, Venezuela started the swimsuit competition and she just set the bar so, so high. Her walk was really good, she was beautiful, and you can really feel her energy and confidence, plus great body too. Mexico, Karina is just so beautiful and one of my favorite performances as well. Hungary, great body, plus she's one of my sentiment favorites and I'm so ecstatic that she plays. South Africa, this year Melinda Bam was my predicted winner. Her beauty is just mesmerizing. Philippines, wow, great walk, great body and definitely a strong performance. 
India. I may not be a huge fan of hers, but I have to be honest, I think she did perform well during the swimsuit. And my winner for the swimsuit competition was Philippines. My second place goes to Venezuela. And my third place goes to South Africa. And for the top 10 announcement, the top 10 finalists were Australia, Russia, Brazil, France, Venezuela, USA, Hungary, South Africa, Mexico, and Philippines. Overall, great top 10. I seriously don't get the hype with Russia. I don't get that at all. If I had to change something, I would actually prefer to see India than Russia, especially on the performance-wise. I think India did better in swimsuit compared to Russia, even though I'm not a huge fan of India, but performance-wise, she deserves to be there than Russia. Evening gown competition, another great segment of the evening gown competition. I am a huge fan of Train, and I love the song Drive By and Mermaid. Very, very appropriate. Now, for the performances, Australia, really, really beautiful. Loved her overall styling, plus her dress is just gorgeous. Russia, I'm not really a huge fan of the gown. Brazil, what a beautiful, beautiful dress. The details of the gown are just amazing. And I just love how the dress hugged her, which highlighted her figure. France, not a really, not a really huge fan of her walk. Plus, she looked okay to me overall. Venezuela, this is the kind of dress that we thought might not work but it did i love how the dress fits her perfectly to the especially to the christmas theme and what made it more alive is how irene carried it with so much confidence usa i'm not a fan of olivia but i truly loved her in this round i really love the dress because it's very vintage very classic and very fairy tale ish hungary the dress is too simple for me i liked her but the dress itself is not a top five material south africa melinda was really really beautiful loved her evening gown and her performance was also amazing loved the way she waved the train and the way she carried it mexico i really love the playful cut or the upper part of the gown and mexico was just gorgeous philippines Loved how the top part of the gown looks so classic, but the bottom part is very playful, and I loved how she worked with that bottom part of the gown. Best performance for, for the evening gown round for me is Venezuela, followed by Philippines in second place, and South Africa in third position. Now for the top five announcement, the top five finalists were Venezuela, Philippines, Australia, USA, and Brazil. And honestly, where is South Africa? I could not believe that she did not made it. That was a solid performance. It was better than, I think, Australia or even Brazil. I think, I think South Africa definitely deserves to be in the top five, which really shocked me. That exclusion really made me sad a little bit. And of course, still left me shocked until now. Now for the final question, Venezuela was asked what law would she make if she could make a new one? Honestly, I think Venezuela is actually making a point here. And I seriously do not understand the mockery towards her answer because if she only answered in her own language, I know she will deliver. Philippines was asked if speaking English must be a prerequisite in becoming a Miss Universe. Very, very beautiful answer. Solid, strong, and a really, really strong response. So good job to Philippines. Australia was asked on how would she feel if she will be asked Asked to lose weight or risk losing an assignment I'm not really a huge fan of her answer because she emphasizes the importance of feeling good about herself but did not really gave some points on losing the job because of it so I just wish she gave some points on that side as well USA was asked about something that she did but she will never do again First of all, the intro of her answer was genius when she said every experience, good or bad, you'll learn from it. And that's just life, which is perfect. It was a very, very beautiful start. Her follow-up response is a little bit lighter and more on a personal and sweet side. But honestly, I think the intro itself, the one that she mentioned prior to the follow-up, already made her 
earned a lot of points. It was really, really good. Brazil was asked on what would she say to people who believes that wearing swimsuit in public reduces them to sexual objects. First of all, even the interpreter was struggling in interpreting the question, so I hate that. And also, I find it very funny as well. For her response, it was very pageant, patty, and not that impressive at all. Now, for the official result, fourth runner-up was Brazil. Third runner-up was Australia. Not really a surprise by these two placements. Second runner-up was Venezuela. It was a deserving one. Again, her answer may not be perfect, but remember, it wasn't the only basis. Because overall, and we all know that she both nailed the two previous rounds, which of course help her elevate a little bit on the final ranking. And seeing Philippines and Venezuela, Philippines and USA in the final two was really, really great because both of them did great when it comes to final question and answer, and both of them delivered a solid, strong answer. But I have to be honest, based on the answer alone, I really thought Philippines is going to win. But when USA was called as the winner, I was not pissed or mad at all. In fact, I'm very, very happy for her. I may be sad for our Janine Dugonan from Philippines, but Olivia Colpo surely proved her worth in the entire competition. Plus, seeing her in the evening gown wearing the crown made her even more amazing and stunning because again i was really a huge fan of her look during the evening i'm very princess like very queen like everything about that look is perfect with the crown so i was very very happy for her win again as what i have said others may think that janine togonon may be may, may be facing some injustice when it comes to the result but i think on the other side Olivia Colpo also delivered very well. So there's always two sides to every argument, but with that result, I am completely satisfied. So what do you think? Don't forget to leave your comments below. Don't forget to hit the like button and of course, share the video as well. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of these videos in the future. So for now, thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the Philippines.